Limité. So, in the agglomerations, we have to do 50. In the routes ordinaires, it's 100, but the recommandé for the auto routes et chaussées séparées is 130. Let's get into Germany! So there we go, the trip is over back in my home country and rather contrary to the entire tour thus far really quite badly organised, I didn't have any routes planned I don't have any accommodation sorted out for tonight it's going to take at least two days to get home I could go straight home on the motorway but nobody wants that so I've just quickly boshed together a little route in the Garmin last night hopefully there's a whole bunch of twistiness in there we shall but see so this is Saarbrücken that we're in now which is just over the border from where our hotel was in Fort back the place is absolutely dead because it's still before nine o'clock on a Sunday hopefully that's the way it'll stay today although the weather looks fabulous so I expect when I get to some of the twisty bits it's probably gonna be pretty busy with bikers and that's fine by me because very weirdly after a week of having company a week of riding with a buddy completely on my own so I've got none of Smokey Bar's banter in my ears can't see his chirpy little XJ6 headlight bouncing around in my mirrors can't see Smokey's white helmeted head joyfully bobbling around on top of his bike. It's a very strange feeling. But I am now going to get on with the job in hand of heading homewards and finding some twisties so I can show you something a little bit more exciting to look at. So uh, sit tight. See you in a minute. Must be some kind of a rally going on around here today. That sounded pretty beefy. Not in Kansas anymore, Toto. Mountains are gone. textbook perhaps. Look at that, crazy vineyard action. Oh, 
look at that for the first time today, somebody to play with. Typical now that I need to stop for fuel. <sighs> so these fellas are a bit too serious for waving. It's a very pretty little town. Traban Trabarka, whatever it was called. Tribidi Trabidi Tra. Oh well. I was hoping to chase you chaps through some twisties, but no such luck. Oh, chase me, chase me! Might as well find a petrol station and get some juice up in this Mother Hubbard then. And once again, Garmin, really? I want to go up there behind someone's house into their back garden to get onto the main road that I'm already on. Look at that. It just makes no sense. And now I've gone this way, it's a minute shorter. Thanks a lot, Mr. Garmin. I'm not impressed. ZS600, it's where it all began. Oh, we're a long way from them days now though, aren't we folks? With the FZ1N, a couple more horses, a little bit more agility, a lot more noise. A hell of a lot more fun factor as well. in pie crust smoother than that. What an absolutely delightful way to finish this tour. Last night I was kind of considering, due to feeling a bit achy, feeling a bit tired, just a bit saddle weary, just hitting the motorway and getting home to wake up in my own bed tomorrow. I am so very glad that I chose not to do that and instead decided just to ease myself back into real life with another day of incredible riding. Look at these crazy bunkers. What about the back of Frankfurt Hahn Airport? Garmin is taking me on the craziest little route. And would you look at that, almost immediately, just past the small town of Altley, things are about to get twisty again. Definitely going to need some new brake pads after this trip, that's for damn sure. There's probably some new toe sliders as well. And then we arrive into the town at the other end of the road, Tsell, which is on the Mosul River. I think actually this area is quite well known for pretty good roads. I've never been here though. How much of a travesty is that? So quite cool that tacked on the end of my amazing trip with Smoky Bar to Switzerland, I get to ride through a whole massive swathe of Germany that I've never seen before. It's been a very, very good week. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. There's the Mosul River. It's a monster, isn't it? What a cool house. I want it, but only if it comes with a vineyard. My right, chaps. Footpeg's fallen off, mate. I look really weird now as I spin round and chase after them. Purely because I missed my turning. Too busy gawking at that church, wasn't I? Not concentrating on this little segue back up into the hills. But that would have brought about a blatant bypass of a bunch of bendies. And I bloody won't abide it. So then, here we go. This bunch of bendiness is the L98 between Tell and well, the next place we get to.
delightful little bendy bit. Yeah, L98 between ALF, a great name for a town, ALF, and the L199, which we're now on. Let's go and drive through somebody's front room again, shall we, Garmin? Well, and you, if it gets us a little bit of a shortcut, because we've really cut the corner there. Look at that, and then we jump back onto the L98. Hopefully, this portion has the same character as the first part. Certainly looks like it. Oh, nice sweeping, slightly banked corners. What could you ask for? Off the L98, onto the L200. I was about to say, I'm wondering if that was a good idea, but those chaps have changed my mind. Well, this was definitely a great idea. Chatter over the bumps there, but very composed nonetheless. Just love this bike. Performance versus cost. Honestly, I think you'd be hard pressed to find something that would better it. Oh, toe down on a bumpy bit there, that was mildly uncomfortable. Uneven around here. Oh, I gotta keep your wits about you. Well, I overcooked the corner and then got a false neutral. Well, the actual neutral. There's nothing false about it. good. And then it continues, the K43 now. I'll tell you what, I'm certainly not going to get bored on this ride home, that's for sure. Unless I'm going to get bored of this kind of stuff and I can't see that happening in a hurry. at the castle. Damn it, I forgot to pack my tweed. Definitely the type of roads that Germany can do very, very well. The ones that you get to really carry a bit of pace through instead of all of the super tight stuff up in the mountains. I mean, both good, don't get me wrong. Just good to keep it mixed up though, isn't it? I think actually this video today is gonna be a hell of a lot longer than I expected because there's just so much good stuff. Well, hopefully good stuff. From my perspective here in this position, it's awesome stuff. Hopefully from that perspective, it looks equally as good. We are back down to the riverside now. Germany does know how to do beautiful riverside towns, doesn't it? But yeah, look at that. This fella's come from as far up north as me, Cuxhaven. Oh, this valley is something else. This is absolutely stunning. 
Not in the mood for hanging behind a queue of cars all day long, old boy. Northern Germany chummanship or not. What, what? This journey home is a epic tour all on its own, isn't it? Bear in mind, yesterday we were in the Black Forest. Today we're in the Mosul Valley. By dinner time, we'll be in Sauerland. Three bikes coming down from there. That's a very, very good sign. Is my Cuxhaven chum coming with me? No. Boring. Just have to smash it on my own then. Just in case you're wondering, this delicious curvy vixen is the L207. that one a little bit. That was some very ham-fisted throttle work. Oh, very tight. Yes, I approve. Oh, I would have missed all of this if I'd have just gone home on the motorway. What an idiot! What was I thinking? Beautiful curves. Oh, L207, you are a fine comely wench. Well, guys and gals, it looks like we're hitting the motorway for a section, so... Shut your eyes. It'll all be over in a second. I think we're on the outskirts of Koblenz now. Well, that's finally us leaving the city behind, or, well, the built-up area at least. This is, what's this place called again? Bendorf. But now, back into the twisties again. Oh, it looks like there's a bit of traffic ahead. A bit disappointing. Bikes and cars. Oh, well, this is rubbish. Oh, with the traffic out of the way, we can enjoy the sweeps. Found a bit more traffic. Chappie on an S1000RR now, behind me, uh, slash in front of me. Now I can see what it really feels like to be utterly outclassed. that, keeping up with the old chap in the corners, and I'm in touring mode, what what? I feel good about that. Well, it's got to be pretty frustrating. Some fella on a 13 year old naked bike with all of his luggage, everything that he owns, keeping up with you in the bend. Sorry, mate. It just shows you don't need an S1000RR to be able to give it some pasty in the twisties. Some twisty pasty. Sounds like eating a Cornish in S&M gear, doesn't it? But with that little test aside, I need to find myself some kind of pastry dispensing establishment. My blood pastry levels are dangerously low right now. Why don't we have a little poke of our nose into the center of the town, see if we can't find a cafe with some seats outside. Oh, look at that. That looks dangerously to me like exactly what I want. Having it. Well, we are now recaffeinated, recakeified, and now we are on the L267 between Deerdorf and Puderbach, which hopefully the other side of Puderbach is going to become a writhing serpent of a road. I mean, it's already started by the looks of it. Okay, so there's Puderbach. Size of that bottle top. Right then. It's on! Ah, 
Smoky Bar has reached Calais. He's waiting to get onto a train right now. Uh, well done, mate. You have made quite astonishing time, to be fair. I have managed, in contrast, to not even cover one third of Germany yet. And I've also not managed to find anybody to play with to take your place, my friend. So you're sorely missed. size of his handlebars. He's about as wide as a car. We're heading off the left here on the K135 towards Flammersfeld. Some great town names in Germany. This road has taken on a decidedly more all-terrain sort of a feel now. to make a point actually of I'll pop a few gears down to help slow the bike up as I come into town try and after that just to knock the gears back up again cruise through the town pretty low revs to try and be a bit less obnoxious with my massively loud pipes and uh, you know see if I can do something about this whole Germans hating bikers thing hearts and minds and all that I don't know if it's gonna do anything but it makes me feel a bit better about not being an obnoxious tw ah, we're on the dog road now this is the K9 I'll tell you what it's dog rough Ah, that's better. It's gone from a Ridgeback to a Vimarana. Oh, and back to Ridgeback again. So I'm starting to get a bit of a complex about the fact that there almost never seems to be bikers going in my direction. They're always going the other way. Am I just always going the wrong way? I believe it's a phenomenon we will never fully understand. Oh, would you look at that? We're back on the L276. These same great roads just keep cropping up in this trip. I think we've been on the AL276 three times now. And all the different bits of it seem to be just as twisty as each other. What the fudge? Seriously. No motorbikes on the road that I want to frigging go on. Okay, but not for four and a half K, so let's see how far we can get, shall we? He obviously doesn't give a shit. not to have come up here just for that bit, even if I have to turn around and come back. Apparently the motorbike Umleitung diversion is to the right, so sadly no real choice. Yep, motorbike's not allowed on a Sunday. A load of rubbish. Sadly, I've got to be making progress, otherwise I'd go back down there, that was great fun. But at least this time they've got a diversion around the bit that motorbikes aren't allowed on. Before it was just, no, can't go through here, deal with it yourself. Absolute of a country. If it was Monday, there'd be no restrictions. Only at the weekend. They just want to stop leisure motorbike riders from going on the good roads. And there we go. The diversion is finished and I'm allowed back on the road again. On the 256, incidentally, which luckily still looks pretty twisty, so maybe I'll let it go. to Dickhausen is blocked. Yet another twisty road that I picked. Jesus. If I hadn't already ridden so many unimaginably good roads today, I'd probably start to get pretty angry about that. Well, would you look at that? Oh, right, well, that's that roadblock dodged, but what are we getting into now, Garmin? Hmm? Now that we've left Dickhausen. Yep, that was a bit of a Larry shortcut now, wasn't it? You would 
know that these tiny little villages exist, would you? Oh, it just doesn't stop. These sweepy, foresty roads go on and on. And on. Well, south to central Germany. I salute you, I really do. Some quite astonishing riding to be done. Gents, tragedy has struck. Saw that line of trees there, thought it looked quite cool, maybe to try and get a bit of artsy fartsy drone footage. And then I thought I'd try one of the automatic settings so that it would fly away from me as I was riding along, but also track me at the same time. But once the shot was finished, it flew back to its original position, but flew straight into the friggin' tree over my head before I could stop it. And then when the wind wafted the tree about, the drone fell out of the tree, landed on the floor in front of me, and the prop arm is broken and one of the wires has snapped out. So those shots come at a real cost, unfortunately, but a remaining positive. I think that I can fix it. So uh, no more drone flying for this trip, unfortunately. But still, let's hope that's the worst thing that happens today. The water's a bit low, isn't it? And now I've made the decision along the route was the town Winterberg. It's going to take me an hour and 10 minutes to get there. So I'm going to use that as a potential end stop for the day. And hopefully you'll be able to find somewhere to lay my weary head. Although if I'm completely honest, what I really want to do now is just ride all the way home, get the soldering iron and the super glue out, fix the drone. But that would be four hours on the motorway. And after eight hours in the saddle already, I don't really fancy that to be fair. So it's going to find somewhere to stay, have a glass or two of the cold stuff and then sleep on it. I mean, other than that, Let's not get carried away. It's been a fabulous day's riding. But let's get this last little section of bendy back and forthedness out of the way so that we can settle in for the night and then get on with getting finally home on the last section tomorrow. But well, I think it's good timing to be honest because camera batteries are just about dead. My batteries are just about dead and bottom is getting decidedly cornery. Knees are getting decidedly creaky and head is just a little bit slower than it really ought to be for smashing around in bendy forest roads and now we are just 20 kilometers away from the end of the day and i picked myself the most german sounding place available so i will be staying in the pension zwischener bauernstuben when in rome so that means just a few more twists and turns and then we'll be done for today so strap yourself in and as the sun hangs low behind us let's just enjoy these last few twists for the day shall we Trailer and no overtaking combination marks the end of our twisty japery for today. Oh, with the roadworks on top to finish. The perfect dessert. Here we are, this is the town that my hotel is actually in. Going the wrong way. These places don't look at all Bauernstubenish, if you ask me. Ah, look at that. Pension Zuschener Bauernstuben. I think we might be onto something there. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. And there we go. I found my home for the night. That looks a bit more Bauernstuben-ish to me. So I am gonna unload the bike, download all the stuff, and then have a little cry about the drone, I think. But see you tomorrow.